That tree is a white oak. It's a little white oak. But you see how much it had that tap root in that white oak. Those suckers go down, man. Ooh, like carrots, big giant carrots. Just a little tip for you. There's also white oak. This one is red oak. That's a bigger tree. That goes to show you how much I'm leaving in little trees got. Hey, what's going on? Look at that. Hydraulic oil. Matches the shirt, huh? We're going to take it out, put it back, change the hose, take it off, and put a new one on. Because we got a leak. This leak's a lot easier than the last leak. This is just a... a I don't know. <laughs> There's that main line right there. You can see it go right, twist right around and go right up into that pump. Somebody had put a metal band on there. And I guess from squeezing on the metal band or they tried to fix a little leak or something. But that's where it's leaking. So now I gotta do another hose. Another trip to Tipco. Nice rip, rip off you, co. <laughs> but, so, uh, today, we have shags and me and stumps. Stumps is out there on the excavator. That's what he does. He does stumps. Shags yeah. is the mechanic and the bucker. The old turtle try and drive the boat. So I'm gonna go down there and start bucking up these trees. The big dogs pushing around and get them bucked up. No chug today. He's going upstream. He's swimming upstream. He'll be back. He doesn't usually get too far. He swim back. So let's go back out into the the zone of the desert.
It's windy today. I ain't cutting no trees down wind like this. Way too windy. Well, we've been running around like a chicken with our head cut off this morning. Bucking up logs. Just me and stumps. The old turtle wood and stump. Ha! We got a lot of cherry. We got a lot of cherry piling up. A lot of cherry maple in this section. Up here was the oak section. A lot of oaks up over in there. Trash piles are getting big. The fire inspector is supposed to be here tomorrow. So that'll be interesting. Get to see what they say about doing controlled burns here. Start cleaning this crap all up. Still no rain. We probably got another, we probably got about four loads of cherry to get out of here again. Five loads of pine, about four loads of maple. The oak's piling up now. Stumps was pushing them down. I was just bucking them up. A couple weeks out here, we'll be deep. We'll be deep. So, let's buck up these cherries. Let's get her done. Days over. I figure let's do a little test, guys. We got fresh cut oak, fresh cut pine, fresh cut cherry, fresh cut maple, fresh cut sassafras. Let's do some moisture testing. Let's see. Oak was 26%. Let's see his cherry. Twenty-one percent for cherry. Let's find us a maple. Plus maple dry wood. No. So what's that tell you? Hmm, that was an interesting fact there, huh guys? Yeah. Let's check out that spread. It went all the way up to 50. That one's a wet one. Twenty-one. Twenty-one for the pine. Fifty almost for the sassafras. The maple is almost ready to be burnt. <laughs> that was dry, man. I told you it ain't raining months. And the cherry, that's another one that's, that's really 
All right, let's stick it on this wet part. See the wet part around the edge? Let's see what the wet part is. That's still, it's still only 30. That's some, there's some facts for you. These trees were just cut there. So, let's double check this oak again. Thirty-four on the edge. Thirty-four on the edge, and the center is reading. Yeah. Thirty. Thirty. <coughs> so between twenty and fifty, with maple being the most dry. Sixteen percent. That's low. How's that? Man. Pines are 22. Hmm. Pretty cool. Well, there's some facts for you. Bye, right, guys. We're out.